Hey, alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Quantum Break. We're currently on our way to meet Serene at the dry docks. But we've got a slight inconvenience of the Titanic falling on our head. <laughs> oh, and just a quick announcement before I start. I've now got a Twitter page up, which will give you an insight on what games are coming up next, what I'm doing. And it'll also give me an insight on what sort of games you want to see. So yeah, if you'd like to follow me guys, it's at XP. The link will be in the description. But well, yeah, all that being said, let's just get into the game and see what's going on next. But yeah, we're frozen in time at the minute, so I think we just want to make a move because I'm not sure how long this is going to last for. Let's try this. Cute. Oh, there we go. All right, our powers are definitely getting stronger. <laughs> Move right out, yeah. If I could turn back time, oh, just saw that one calling me out. Uh, slight inconvenience. I if I can nailed it. Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. Ooh. Okay, I'm straight on edge from the start in this one. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Did not slow this down. No, I don't think so. Ooh. That's gonna hurt. Oh, don't make me go up. Oh, no. Okay. Really? I could just come out this way. <laughs> Ah, I gotta get over there. What's how? Ah, there we go. Went the wrong way. Sneaker, sneaker. <laughs> I really don't like this. Oh. Uh, stay completely still. Tell me about it. Jesus. Okay, my plan of action is just move fast as possible. <laughs> if it can't catch me, I can't die, right? Oh, I'm so stuck. Okay, let's slow down. That plan didn't last long. There we go. Back to the plan. <laughs> Why, why, why? I'm like a ninja. Okay, keep going. Well, I wasn't planning on stopping. No, 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 not again. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? That was kind of inevitable, I feel like. Da-da! Ooh. Oh, just when you think you're free. Oh, there we go. Oh. Sugar plums. Oh, 
I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Look how he's landed. He's not dead. Oops. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm gonna die. Sound defense. Oh, what my abilities? I can't remember. Ugh. Just keep zipping, just keep zipping. <laughs> Alright, you're dead. Come here. Missed. 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 This shotgun doesn't work at close range. <laughs> it's kind of a backwards shotgun. Okay, reload. Reload. I don't have any more bullets, damn it. There he is. He's a sneaky bugger. Ugh. Taste my pistol. Oh, gun. Thank God. A very strange gun. Get away from the bomb. Oh, I think we missed. Oh, weapons. Give me, give me, give me. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Where's my shotgun? There we go. I feel like this is going to be more effective. Yeah, have some of uh, straight through the stairs. <laughs> Look at stairs. <laughs> I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Never forget. Okay, where are we going? Is that away? That was kind of fun this time, but this shotgun does not work at close range. We figured out that out last episode when I had to shoot someone seven times. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've right, got time defense, time vision, time stop, it doesn't work, and time skip. Oh, that's what I have. I have the time velocity thing as well, doesn't I? That's what I was thinking of. Right, okay. Back on the road again. Hey, it's back. Exact words or don't do anything stupid. I've never been a great listener. Well, time to start. Get in. I think he's like dropped the bolts on my own head. What if I don't trust you? Then shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the bed. That's for not Whoa. listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. Sorry, Mom. Thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. Starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. My ride, my Why do all the women in this game hate me? Okay. <laughs> that was awful time. <laughs> the fuck are you people? Bradbury Swimming Pool, Act 2, Part 3. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. 
Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Locked. Jack. That key you got from Will's briefcase. I got this. He doesn't fit. Damn it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Why do they always try rushing me? Can you find a way in, Jack? I've literally yeah. just left your side. Just a second. There's no way in over here. Okay, so we need to get up there. We're looking for a ramp. Usually where there's a ramp in this game, that's... Uh, okay, rock, move. Wherever there's a ramp, that's usually our way in. Oh, it's taxi. I wonder if it's taxi guys here. This is weird. Huh. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. Yeah. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? <sighs> I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but I mean, it's a long shot. Just believe. Come on, Amy. Give me a break. Look, I climb this. Nope. Thank God Amy didn't see. She have so many comments on that. <laughs> Blue. Okay. Here we go. Hey. All right. So it looks like I can just keep doing that as much as I want. Oh, that's a picture of the thing we're looking for. Sorry, the name's totally escaped me. The thing that prevents the time travel thing. No, 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 no. It does that when it can't jump. It's quite annoying. Hey, can't make it. Kick in. myself off the roof. Ooh. All right. Jack and Beth Wilder arrive at Bradbury Swimming Hall, where William is hidden something important. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I can do my skills thing. I didn't actually read that then, I just saw that it wanted me to press T. Cost 1. How many have we got now? Available 2. Cost 4, cost 6, cost 4, 6. Nah, I can't afford anything. Rubbish. Damn. There we go. Up, up, and away. Oop. Hey, I just looked up the license plate of the cab parked over there. It belongs to somebody named Nick Marsters. Nick Marsters? That's the name of one of the witnesses we picked up from the university. <laughs> yeah, I recognized his picture. I saw him there. How did his cab get here? Jesus, don't ever do that again. Bad bird. Damn it. The stutters aren't going away. Go that movie jump. <laughs> Down we go. Building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? 
Schrodinger, first Cronant. That's a Schrodinger's. I can't say that word. That cat thing in it. Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order. Where? He's Schrodinger. Gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. That you're sounds right. filthy. Get in minds all the gutter people. Okay, finally, we're <laughs> sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will re-emerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for... Five minutes took a shit on the tubing. This <laughs> a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. Okay, the machine is warming up again. Twelve thousand dollar moving bill. Activate test number two in a round about five minutes. lot more of this place than just some old boxes. Seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past. Which means that he will you own this place since 1999? The corridor, and when he comes out Why didn't you other, tell me, Will? Holy shit. Holy shit, it worked. This, this is clear proof that it's... Uh, what, I'm, what I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five no minutes. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy Show shit. Me, future you. Ow. <laughs> growing drugs. Oh, that's what it's on about, isn't it? <laughs> My brother was a pothead. Is that everything? Oh, hello. We need to we need keep to our contact, contact limited, limited from this point forward. forward. I'll find I'll you find when the countermeasures complete. complete. Okay. Okay. We need to keep our contact limited from this point forward. I'll find I'll you find on account of Mitchell's computer. I reckon he's on about Beth there. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sednak here, filling in for Bobby Radford. About to brighten your day with some good news. The victims wounded during the terrorist attack on Riverport University are being treated in the Monarch Solutions Medical Center in downtown Riverport. And the hospital has released a statement saying they are all now stable and covered. Well, that's good news. Alright, I think this is the front door, we can finally let them in. I bet they say why did it take so long. Working on it. Well, give me loads of back chat, take it out on me. <laughs> Follow Beth. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. Alright, let's take a look around. Down here. I'd rather this shelter, at me. <sighs> nice work. Thank you, Amy. Somebody appreciates me now. Into the gents. This is my turf. This note. It's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone. Taken. Oh, shit. What the... Safe. Empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. All right, well, the thing is, neither of them can time travel. 
Okay, my key isn't working that either. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I think she's in a mind wipes or something like that. <clears throat> Really strange going on. Hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Why, well, thank you. Honor. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we could do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um... Explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hit it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. You stop being okay. filthy. there. Core controls. You guys get your Where head out the gutter. <laughs> and I've all just realized they like face facial recognition, is that the right term? Like lip sync and stuff like that? It's just amazing in this game. I've always took notice of it. Okay. Got to figure out where to start. Where are the core controls? Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. Hello. Oh, one of the heaviest levers so the of all time, time again. Core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. I think. I can talk to her. Hey, Amy. What is this? Okay. <laughs> I don't think you believe me. Uh, in the past two hours, I've learned that Monarch is a secret paramilitary. It's a time machine. Okay. I'll compartmentalize that with everything else that shouldn't make sense. We should help Jack find the core controls. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anybody check out this map? It looks like he labeled where everything is. Alright, so this is to Beth. Everything you warn me about, blah blah blah. Countermeasures safe. Yeah, see, so she has me speaking to him. To Beth from Will. To Beth, to Beth, to Beth, to Beth, to Beth, to Beth. To Beth. These schematics are all in Will's writing. He did all of this. Built everything. Monarch was made aware of its ex The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. I can't activate the core till it's reset. God damn. <laughs> right, so we've got the key, we've got the starting button, I just need to reset it. Which looks to be over there, right? Yeah. 
Honestly, I have no idea where you are. Nope. Need to find a way to reset the core first. Uh, where's Beth? Uh, Amy, even. Ah, that's what it need to be. Can I just fall down? Oh, I can. Oh, it's Beth. Hey. You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine. He said the countermeasure was stolen. But the machine is still here. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. Are you sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. She has a point. <laughs> Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. Okay, so I'm gonna go where Beth is, then I'm gonna turn that key over there. The key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. Here goes nothing. Heaviest lever. Of all time. <laughs> what was that? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that song was just the uh, quantum quadabadaba kicking in. Worked. I remember that from the first episode. <laughs> it actually worked. Okay, we activate the corridor next. Okay, there is no way that thing should be exposed like that. Awesome. Could you imagine building something like this? Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. This is gonna work. It has to. You guys aren't actually planning to use this machine, are you? So I guess you're not at all concerned that one guy jerry rigged this entire thing together? Because I think I'm literally seeing duct tape. Okay, no, this is a great idea. Yeah, no way that this is gonna backfire. <laughs> you just gotta believe. Come on, Amy. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what this happened. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're I'm not guessing this is it. Over here. Anything you do is gonna okay, make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a Cronin research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no.
end of Act 2. Well, alright guys, I think this will be the perfect place to end this episode. But if you have liked it, please give me a thumbs up on that like button to let me know. And if you haven't already, pl please don't forget to subscribe. I'll have another episode up for you tomorrow and we'll find out what's going on. I feel a cinematic coming on. <laughs> so I'll see you then guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.